Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create an automatic work cell slip generator in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this fully automatic work cell slip generator. We will generate thus multiple cell slip in PDF format using this Excel file. So the first sheet is the setting sheet wherein you need to input the folder path wherein you want to create the bulk cell slips. Then you need to enter the month of the cell for which month you want to generate these cell slip. Like here I have put 1st August you can see you can input the first date of the month automatically it will convert into this format. If you want to put for the 1st September, just input here 1st September, automatically it will take September 2024. Alright, now coming to the data part, here we have this data wherein we have the employee ID, employee name, department, designation, date of joining, basic daily, then HRA, convention allowance, special allowance, other allowance, tax deduction, and then we have the PF, health insurance, loan deduction, the other deduction. You can input more data as per your organization format. But we have just keep it simple and just for the demo purpose. Now coming to the template part, we have created a template here and using this template we will create the cell slip. Now let's come to that folder, this particular folder, let me show you. This is the blank folder you can see and we will generate the cell slips here. So I am going to click on the create cell slips. We have clicked and it is generating. You can see in the folder also it is adding more cell slips. Okay. Okay. So it is saying done. So it has generated all the cell slips. Now let's come to the folder and let us open one cell slip to see the format. So let's say I am opening this first one. So we can see it is in the same format the month which we have entered then the employee ID and the other information and this is ready. So that is how you can generate the bulk cell slips and whatever data you enter here in the data sheet whether it's a 20 records or the 1000 records it will generate automatically cell slips. Now I will explain you how we have created this in Microsoft Excel. First you need to enter this data okay in this format or if you have this some other format you can enter in that format also. Just keep all the fields here whatever you want to capture in the cell slip. Alright, now come to the template part and if you are adding more different field, you have to modify this template as per your requirement. So for now, I will explain you how we have created. We just have taken the employee ID and the cell month on the top, then few employee related information like employee name, department, designation and date of joining. Then this is the earnings like basic salary, house rent allowance, convention allowance, special allowance and the other allowance and these are the deductions. Okay. We have put the formula here. So let me delete the employee ID then you can see automatically everything is blank. So we have used the formula in the Excel worksheet. Let me remove this formula and will explain you from the scratch. So let's delete these all formulas and this one also this one also now for the employee id that will be manual input okay so let's take any of the employee id and uh, we will just input here this is only field wherein manually input or when we will run the automation automation system will input here the employee id one by one then the salary month is coming from the setting sheet and just select and hit the enter you can format this using the control one and you can see we have taken this format but you can take any other format if you want now the employee name just use the vlookup the lookup value will be this employee id just press f4 to freeze this comma the table array we will take from the data from the first column till the last a to o press f4 to freeze this comma the employee name is on column b we will put here 2 comma 0 and just hit the enter. So we are getting here the employee name. Similarly, you can fill for the department designation and the other. 
but the header we have taken the same headers which are available in the data the exact one so we can use the match function also so match function will return the position of that particular header let me explain you match function first here use match and lookup value let's take this one comma lookup array let's take this one and we can freeze this press f4 comma 0 so this will return 2 because employee name is available on the second position similarly if i fill this down it will return 3 4 5 and same for the other one also so that means in place of that 2 we can use this match function just copy and just delete this 2 and paste that match function and hit the enter we will get the same result now benefit of this is we can simply fill this formula here so we are getting all the result now this is a date date of joining so we can just press shift control and 3 to convert into the date format we can delete this now and we can copy this and select this range and we can paste a special formula here alt e s f and ok and same thing we can do here copy and paste here so this is taking the deductions total earning we can take the sum of this use the sum of this alt equal to and here also sum of this now the net sale will be total earning minus deduction okay so that is how we have created the template now coming to the bba part we have created this simple rectangle and then assigned a macro so let's go to the developer tab and the visual basic we have created this macro so let me insert a module and i will explain you from the scratch let's say i am putting here create sally slip ss okay and here we have kept the name as create sally slips so i am putting here create ss let's take here two worksheet one for the data and another one for the template sheet so let's say here i am taking dim sh as worksheet dim tsh as worksheet okay set sh equal to this workbook dot seeds and we will take the data sheet data sheet is this one then we have the template sheet so let's take here set tsh equal to this workbook dot seeds and take here template sheet then take another variable dim fo as a string or we need the folder path right so fo path as a string and take dim i as integer i okay now the folder path we will set the folder path is available on the setting sheet this one is the folder path so we will set that so i will use folder path equal to this workbook dot seats and then use here setting sheet you can see yes and this is c4 you can see the range c4 dot value okay so we have the folder path if right of folder path comma one is not equal to this ls then and if we will add less here equal to folder path and this less okay so why we are doing this activity because sometimes user can enter the folder path like this okay or sometimes they will enter like this so if they are entering like this then we will add manually once less with the condition on a loop so for i equal to loop we will run from the two because our data is starting from row number two in the data this one till the last row so we can take the count of column a or any other column so we can use two application dot worksheet function dot count a ss dot range a to a enter next i and here we can put dot range we will change the employee id on the template sheet which is this cell which is c3 
c3 dot value equal to whatever is the value of the column a in the data sheet this one this is the employee id right so we will use here ss dot range a and i dot value okay we have changed the employee id now we will export this so we will use tss dot export as fixed format space then we will select here excel type pdf comma the file name folder path fo path and we want to save this file with the name of the employee so let's take here employee name column which is b so i can say sh dot range b and i dot value okay now it will export one by one all the pdfs and here we can say message box as done that's it now if i run this from here it will start creating the pdf so first let's go to the folder and delete the existing pdf now i will show you so let's go to this one and run so we can see it is creating the pdfs so this is done okay we can see the pdfs here let's open any one to show you all right so it has created successfully now let's come to this one and we'll come to the seat and we'll explain you how you can create a button like here and assign the macro so let's go to the insert and you can just insert a normal rectangle so let's insert this rectangle and just drag that rectangle over the seat edit the text like create sale slip okay and then you can just format it align center center and you can change the shape format from here also let's take the different preset let's say this one or any other then you can simply right click and assign the macro here so let's select this workbook and create ss create cell slip right so this macro is assigned now you click the second macro will execute it all right friends that is how we have created this friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for the watching